still on a women's basketball, earning the number one overall Woo seed for the NCAA <laughs> tournament once again. And we are just days away from that first round starting, and it's going to be a good one. We are ready. <laughs> Joining us live in the studio, y'all know I got to give the one and only introduction, the GO Olympian Hall of Famer, the one and only Dawn Stanley. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only way I know to introduce her. That's it. That's Listen, it. Listen, Dawn, I want to talk about the SEC tournament. Not all the drama. We're moving past that. We're looking forward. Mm -hmm. But some really teachable moments from that tournament being put this team in positions. I mean, y'all were winning games, you know, scoring more than 100 points. Mm -hmm. But the position you were put in in the Tennessee game with 1.1 seconds, yeah. the position you were put in in the LSU game with the adversity. I mean, in my mind, I feel like that comes at a good time for the team to be able to learn from that. Yeah, I, I know people get, um, you know, get all worked up about the undefeated season. Yeah. But mm -hmm. there are things that have been happening in our season that that are, you know, equatable to losing. I mean, this weekend was a perfect prime example, like um, being down uh, two points mm -hmm. uh, with 1.1 seconds left, no timeouts, and, um, you know, making a call for Camilla to shoot the basketball and she actually makes it. That's one. Making call for Camilla to shoot yeah. the blankety blank ball. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> and, and then just the adversity that, that occurred um, in our championship game. Yeah. These are all teachable moments. These are all moments in which um, give us character. You know, and, you know, we, 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 we want a whole smooth season and everything is, is grand. We know it's, it's very much not like that. So going into the season, I feel good about us being just stretched out like mm -hmm. it's not like we've we've just uh, run through our entire season it was it's, it's like we've been you know to the depths of 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 losing but found a way to win yeah it's really mm -hmm. good coach one of the things that you talked about when you were last here before the sec tournament was that a challenge was some of the players are younger they're younger than what you dealt with last season you also lost five starters as well how proud are you of these girls and how they've been able to maturely transform yeah. on the court like that. Super proud, mm -hmm. super proud, because every single one of them have gotten better. Like you, you have starters and then you mm -hmm. have people that's coming off the bench and the people that's coming off the bench, yeah. they, they really want to be starters. And I do feel like we could have started any one of our players, but you got to choose five. Uh, but that didn't stop the players who were coming off the bench. Mm -hmm. And it didn't, it didn't stop them from getting better each and every day like they all play an integral role not I, I really didn't know this someone said this uh i guess watching all the the march madness stuff that we have i don't know four or five players that average about eight points mm. and i i really didn't know that i don't i don't even look at points i don't look at anything besides what it should look like out there on the court and how productive yeah. each and every player should be and because of that i i really keep the main thing the main thing and that is just just focused on our team, not on the peripheral and not mm -hmm. getting distracted by anything that anyone says about us. You get, it, there's good distractions and bad distractions, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Like everybody has us winning the national championship. Mm -hmm. That's a distraction it because is. It, we could take our foot off the gas and yeah. actually believe what the, what the experts are saying, or we could just continue on um, with our journey, doing it the way We've done it all season long. We've created great, great habits when it comes to our approach, our preparation, and you know, basketball has done a great job at repaying us for that. And yeah. I hope that it continues to do that. And listen, I don't expect you to give up any secrets, but when you move into tournament time after an back-to-back un -back undefeated mm -hmm. season, mm -hmm. is there, are there any changes that you make in terms of preparation to kind of flip the script on the team? I mean, even in terms of conditioning with Molly practice, mm -hmm. Is there anything that, that you flip the script on? No, no. I, I think each team is different. Mm -hmm. Like what I would have done for our team last year is probably a little bit different than what I would what I do for this team. Yeah. Um, this team, you almost have to kind of jolt them into, you know, knowing that it's not going to be easy. I do think they, they feel like I get the impression. They may, <laughs> they may tell me differently. Mm -hmm. I feel like they might feel like it's going to be easy because they don't, they don't think about like what happened this weekend scares me a little bit because it's like we're 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 right there knocking on a lost door and yet they answered the bell right it's 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 not we can't script it that way so mm -hmm. our practices we didn't practice today we practiced friday saturday sunday were really hard 
Like we really, they were short, but they were hard. They were intense. They were discipline practice, detail practices in which they had to execute what we wanted to execute. And still the highlighters beat us. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Spanked us. Not wow. just beat us, they, <laughs> they spanked, spanked us. Yes. Wow. Coach, I want to talk about changing the narrative around college women, sports, basketball. We know what you've done for the program here at home. We know how you've gotten the fams and you've expend, it's extended that family. But people are now putting USC and your team and your program as the face of really launching and getting a lot of people to watch women's basketball on the college level. What is your response to that? Well, I think um, women's basketball is peaking. Like, really, we're peaking with a lot of different storylines. We're one of them. Um, Caitlin Clark's one of them. Mm -hmm. um, LSU's one of them. I mean, we have a, a lot of stories that now, I, I think we've been held back. Mm -hmm. I do. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do think women's basketball has been held back to the point of um, the decision makers of our game, they keep, they keep one storyline. Mm -hmm. No matter no matter what that storyline is, right. no matter if if something else comes in and, and deserves a lot more attention, they stay with that storyline. Right. It's they can't anymore because we're bursting at the mm. seams. Everybody wants a bit of somebody. Like if if you're if you're in the South, you want more South Carolina. You right. want more of our team. If you're in the Midwest, you want more and more of a Caitlin Clark, mm -hmm. right? So it is a, a, a lot of storylines that are being told because they have to be told because the demand is there. They do. Well, as always, Dawn is looking out for the fans, and we got your hookup for Friday because the game is at 2 o'clock, right? So there's this excuse for work that we're posted on WISTV.com, and it basically says, please accept this letter as a formal notification that, you know, fill in your name, whoever you are, all your people, all your friends, won't be unable to report to work on Friday, March 22nd. As a valued employee, Dawn realizes their absence could cause disruption and inefficiency, but this is a serious matter. After back-to-back -back undefeated regular seasons and winning, the eighth SEC tournament championship in 10 years. Gamecock women's basketball is taking the next step in its destiny, Dawn's destiny, to complete for another mm -hmm. national title. Can't do it without the fans. In fact, bosses, if you're a good leader, you'll take the day off too. And you'll join us at that Colonial part. Life Arena <laughs> to host the first round of NCAA March Madness for the women's basketball tournament in our beautiful capital city. Print your copy off. It's already signed by Dawn. Just turn it in. We'll see y'all at Colonial Life Arena on Friday, setting yet another attendance record-breaking record. Yeah, yes. bring, yeah. Bring, bring your boss to the game. Yes. That's yes. the thing. Bring your boss That's to it. the game. That's it. That'll do huh? it. Have your boss fit the, fit, <laughs> right. fit the bill for the tickets, the drinks, right. everything. Somebody <laughs> says, thank you, boo. Thank you, boo. <laughs> thank you, boo. We appreciate it. Thank we appreciate you, it. But seriously, get your tickets. This is an incredible opportunity opportunity for the team to host here at Colonial Life Arena and you know what if we sell out CLA the team will make history yet Ooh again so yes. you can be a part of the team and helping them to achieve that goal as they set off yet another journey for yet another championship. Coach Don Staley everybody thank you so much Thank Dawn. you coach we appreciate it. <laughs> All right we're going to take a quick break we'll be right back. Good energy the goat is in the building. I know right